All right, my Strictly Lovelies, we are back. We are back. Um, I was just doing my research on that word obsessive. That was kind of sticking out to me. So I reshuffled my cards, and what came on top of, as above, so below, was inner wisdom. Okay, inner wisdom. So it's a tool for quick and ready insight. It is a gut feeling. Okay, it's the six senses. An inner knowing, an instant, it's a hunch, a stillness, a quiet inner voice, inner wisdom. It's not a magic switch you can turn on when you need counsel. So, I was just trying to use my inner voice and do a little bit of research on that excessive word because that was sticking out to me let's let's see something really quick let's let's go into our love life let's go to our love life using the love oracles oh look what we'll just slide on that what is this spirit want us to know that it is important right now to take a step back and spend some time alone instead of um placing your focus on another so now is the time to give to yourself and i do take this Holly, because I have to tell my partner, look, just be patient with me. I got to make some changes. So I'm going to go in hermit mode so I can um, fix this connection, do the work, interchange to bring us a little bit more closer together because it was certain things that I need to understand within our connection. Because as a powerful manifester, you want things to manifest as quickly as you stated, right? Sometimes it don't work like that. Sometimes you got to understand, like, why, if you are thinking about why it's not manifesting, what, what, what is going on with my manifestation? I'm using my words correct. No, you just got to, okay, take a step back and spend some time alone and just be patient enough and change. Okay okay that's what i'm gonna use right there let's see and get a message an energy behind there Oops. one car spirit one car broken heart came out in reverse let me know it let me know that you guys are very mature enough and you are healing okay especially if you're talking to your partner in um a respectful way um that you are being um stating your um stating your needs your wants your problems with high morals and with standards and with respect you know that okay i understand that this is not going as how i want it to go so i'm gonna set <laughs> i'm gonna set this distance right now until i get some clarity on why the distance is being created within our um relationship so and it's okay it's all right, so let's clarify. So you are getting to know one another by taking the time out to even, okay, be patient with them and make the changes within yourself, period. Okay, ain't nothing wrong with that. Instead of focus, instead of placing your focus on another, now it's time to get to yourself. Okay, you're giving it to you're giving time to yourself because you are healed. You are healed, and spirit are is guiding you both to get to know each other with the patience, with change. Okay, as soon as you realize, uh uh, this ain't going. Let me let me let me do the inner work. Let me do the inner work. Now you see that healing bring about powerful manifestation. All right. So getting to know each other as you reveal your innermost self to each other, your bonds deepen. I'm glad that you guys are um healed. See, another clarification. Spirit said retreat. It's time to disconnect from the world. 
like I said, take a step back, okay? Spend some time alone. It's okay. You're doing a wonderful job. You ain't missing out on anything. Retreat because you don't want to feel like you're codependent on someone's energy. That's why you need to check your own energy before getting to know someone. So addiction are affecting your romantic life. Let's see. See what these additions are about. That is affecting your love life. Judgment. Judgment. You making it be known to your partner, okay, that you is taking a step back and you finna spend some time alone because distance distance communication things not going as right it's not going as planned so and you heal enough to even understand that you heal enough to even like look make it be known to your partner knight of wands so this knight of wands is healed <laughs> probably that's why he don't want you to call depend on his energy he know he got some good loving. He know he got some good sexual healing. So getting to know each other is one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. The Ten of Cups, which is going to bring this happy family, this 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 completion to um what you want to get to move forward with with you, you and your partner. So you sound and just like, look, let me just work on myself real quick. Okay, I'm still going to update you on the process. Retreat is clarified. One, two, three, six to seven of pentacles. Retreat, seven of pentacles. Let me see. So the seven of pentacles upright is... um. Investment and effort. Investment and effort. So I guess you're going to retreat with your in investment and the effort that you put in to even create this Ten of Pentacles with your Knight of Wands that you signed the judgment on. So there won't be no codependent energy going on. And ain't nothing wrong with that. Ain't nothing wrong with that. Uh oh, uh oh, uh oh, oh. Scorpio came out. I came out in my own reading. Scorpio came out. That mean, baby, you ending something within yourself so you can rebirth something, something you already know about, and the King of Cups. So you can rebirth this love within your relationship. So. What you don't see coming is a celebration because you are rebirthing yourself. You in a certain situation to begin a new one. And ain't nothing wrong with that. So no one can say that you're being codependent on that energy. Um, if this reading resonates, like, comment, subscribe, ring that bell. Until next time, my collective, stay up, babies.